Welcome to the Jumbled Fun Channel. I hope you enjoyed reading about Mr. Frog because today I'm going to show you how to make your very own frog. Remember, you will need an adult to supervise. Here we've got a pair of 100 denier uh, green tights. I folded the legs over um, and then cut them across the fold because this will be the body and the legs and these will be the arms. So what we've got to do now to make the legs neat at the bottom is to turn the tights inside out, gather together the bottom, use a couple of these like the hair elastic things secure. Okay, so nice and secure. Turn them the right way again. And that means that the bottom of the tight, which is going to be the foot, is um, secure and fairly neat as well. And now you can start stuffing the legs and the body with the uh, padding. One tip uh, with the this is the padding, no matter what you use really, and I just use, I buy a, a, a pillowcase because it's cheapest really, uh, way of getting this padding, it's nice and soft and usually hypoallergenic. Um, don't just stuff it in one big lump or just even small. Make sure you do this to uh, all the stuffing because then you'll find it's much easier to get a really nice shape to um, the jumble. It takes longer, but it is worth it in the end. When you get to this stage so that both legs are completely padded and you've just got a bit in the body part, it's a good idea to start actually making the bubbles on the legs because then you get an idea um, of how much padding you're going to need for the body part. It's up to you how many bubbles, whether you want lots of little bubbles or just maybe three, entirely up time. Okay. And now we are going to stuff this and this has to be stuffed a lot. That's because this isn't just the body, it's the head and the body, which sounds like impossible, but it is because we're going to stuff it a lot and then we are going to pinch in the bottom bit, which will be the body, and the top bit will be the head. I know it looks really weird at the moment, but it does work out. What you need to do now is to first of all scrunch together the top bit and use a hair elastic again to make a nice little like, bubble thing on top. Another characteristic of the jumble is they've all got this on top. Bottom. So here we've got an elastic band and we're going to put that over you can have, pull around, squeeze and pull until you get it into more of a round shape. And now you're probably thinking, well, how do we get the eyes in there? Well, once you're actually happy with the proportions of the head and the body, you need to take this off again and then we are going to insert two polystyrene balls for the eyeballs. Very difficult for me doing this back to front. The idea is that when you think you've got these in the right position, and with a frog, the, eggs tend, the eyes tend to be sort of more at the top of the head, you then can get um, a hair bubble, put it round the eyes and make sure that you are happy because if you're not, you can always take them off and uh, replace them somewhere else. 
So I've decided that I'm happy with the eyeballs um, where they are. I've secured them with the elastic bands and I finished tying off a little um, at the top with an elastic band. So what we need to do now is we need to pad the arms out and do a few bubbles on there, probably just maybe three, three or four bubbles on there, leaving a tiny bit at the top without any um, padding. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I padded one arm here and left this top bit. So I'm going to be able to put it under an elastic band. I put two elastic bands around the neck, by the way. So I'm going to put it under one elastic band at the side here and then bring it back <coughs> uh, onto itself and tuck it into the elastic band the last elastic band at the top of the arm. Like, like so. So now it comes to the features, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then that little girl going around here. And this is where you've got to make a choice really because I use the these googly eyes which I stick on with glue. It does slightly make a dent in the polystyrene, but it's not noticeable. Uh, but if you've got very young children, then obviously these are not safe and you may want to actually put the safety eyes in, in which case you're going to have to do that before you put the, um, the fabric over the polystyrene balls. So here he is now looking a bit more like a frog. Um, I've used uh, some of this uh, foam sheeting, which is lovely and flexible to make the mouth. And frogs are supposed to grin from ear to ear, so that's okay. A tiny little uh, jewel, a red one, is this sort of thing for the nose. And now I'm cutting out some petal shapes, which I'm just hooking underneath the elastic band. So here he is finished. To make him longer lasting, I suggest you replace the hair elastics with very strong elastic bands or even better, just uh, some thin fabric or string or wool because hair elastics rot quite quickly and it's very important, especially if your child is young, that this does not happen. And all the jumpers are actually made the same way. So even Georgie, who might look different, more complicated, started off just like the frog, the head's a bit smaller. And then, then I did actually sew the eyes on for Georgie because I prefer that, it seemed to make her look more feminine. Um, and, but her legs are the same, I haven't bobbled them as much and just put little leg warmers on. Her arms are bubbled and she's got distinctive black hair bubbles on to make them stand out against the multicolour. Her hair, yes, that takes a long time to do, especially if you want it as thick as this. But it's something which you can take time over, over a few days really, and it's fun, quite relaxing doing it. And I'll show you how to make a doll like Georgie another time.